day everyone, I'm Fiona Bernido and I will be discussing about Rizal's life, particularly about his family. First, let's start by knowing who Rizal is. Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado E. Alonso Rialonda, or also known as your national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, was born on Wednesday, June 19, 1861, at the Lakeshore Town in Calamba, Laguna. He is the seventh of the eleven children of Don Francisco Mercado and Doña Teodora Alonso. His family fondly called him Pepe, and in his early childhood, he mastered the alphabet and learned to write and read. At a young age, he already showed inclinations to the arts as he manifested his skills in painting, sketching, and sculpture. Don Francisco and Gracio Rizal Mercado E. Alejandro II is Jose's father. He is the reticent but vigorous gentleman from whom Jose inherited his free soul. Pepe regarded him as a model of fathers. He was also a productive farmer from Binyan, Laguna, and later became a Teniente Gobernador Silio, or Lieutenant Governor, and was nicknamed Teniente Kiko. Francisco's great-grandfather was Domingo Lamco. Domingo Lamco is a Chinese immigrant who arrived in Manila in about 1690. He came to the Philippines and married a half-Chinese lady named Ines de la Rosa, in late 16th century. He then took the last name Mercado in the year 1731. Don Francisco was born on May 11, 1818. When he was 8 years old, he lost his father. He was nonetheless educated as he took Latin philosophy at the College of San Jose Manila where he met and fell in love Teodora Alonso. They married later on June 28, 1848, and had 11 children. They settled down on Calamba, where they were granted a piece of rice farm in the Dominican-owned haciendas. So, this is what their house in Calamba looks like. It is a typical rectangular bahay na bato, a reminiscent of upper-class Filipino homes built during the Spanish colonial era. But during the World War II, this two-story house was destroyed. But it was rebuilt at the same site on June 19, 1950. This is what the house looks like before. And this is it now. This is called the Rizal Shrine. It is a reproduction of the original two-story house of Rizal. With Rizal's original belongings kept intact, the visitors can roam around the house freely. Original and relevant trivia are written on the walls, and the rooms are carefully reconstructed and presented the way they used to be when Rizal used to live there in the late 1800s. Doña Teodora Morales Alonso Rialonda y Quintos is the mother of Rizal. She was born on November 9, 1827, and also known as Lolay. She was educated at the College of Santa Rosa where she studied Spanish. She was smart enough, devoted, well-mannered, and a diligent mother, wherein Pepe considered her a remarkable woman. Doña Lolay demonstrated on how to keep families together, despite of the turmoil of the Spanish regime. She possessed business ability. To help in the economy of her family, she ran sugar and flour mills and a small store in her house, selling homemade hams, sausages, jams, jellies, and many others. It is believed that Doña Tudora's family descended from Lacandula, the last Malayan king of Tundo. And this man on the right is a maternal great-grandfather, Eugenio Ursua of Japanese blood, whose mother, Teodora, belonged to a clan of gifted men. Her brothers were men of unusual talent. But in 1849, when a governor ordered the Filipino families to choose the new surnames from lists of Spanish family names, 
the children of Lorenzo Alberto Alonso adopted the name Rialonda. Hence, Chidora Alonso became Chidora Alonso Rialonda. So that's the reason why there are so many surnames in their time. Okay, let's now proceed by introducing Jose's siblings. The eldest of Don Francisco and Doña Tudora is Saturnina. She was also known as Neneng, and she was married to Manuel Hidalgo. She and her mother provided Jose a good basic education that by the age of three, Jose already knew his alphabet. She also published the Tagalog translation of Noli Metangere by Pascual Poblete. The second child was Pasciano Rizal. He was Jose's only brother. He was fondly addressed by his sibling as Senor Pasciano, short for Senor Pasciano. He became a farmer and later a general of the Philippine Revolution as he joined the Ketiponeros under General Emilio Aguinaldo after the execution of Rizal. The third child was Narcisa, or also known as Sisa. She was married to a teacher and a musician named Antonio Lopez. Like Saturnina, she helped financing Jose's studies in Europe, and is believed that she could recite from memory almost all the poems of Jose. The fourth child was Olympia, also known as Ipia. She was married to Silvestre Ubalde, a Talagaf operator from Manila. She was quite close to Jose, that Jose loves to tease her. She also served as the bridge between Jose and her first, first love, Segunda Katigbak, which was Olympia's schoolmate. The fifth child was Susia, and was married to Marciano Ribosa, who was charged of inciting the Calamba townsfolk not to pay land rent and causing unrest. Because of this, the couple was once ordered to be deported. The sixth child was Maria. She was also known as Biang. Maria was like a safe place of Jose. It was her whom Jose talked to wanting Mary, Josephine Bracken, when all of the Rizal family was against the idea. Jose also shared his plan to Maria of establishing Filipino colony in North British Borneo. The eighth child was Concepcion. Her siblings call her Concha. There are no pictures found since she died at the age of three and was said that she was Jose's favorite sister as they play games and share children's stories. The ninth child was Josefa, known as Pangoy. She did not marry and died as an old maid at the age of 80. Next, the tenth child was Trinidad, also known as Trini. Like Josefa, she died as an old maid at the age of 83. Historically, she became the custodian of Jose's last and greatest poem. Before Jose was executed, Teodora and Trinidad visited him at the Fort Santiago cell. That was the time when Jose gave Trinidad a gift saying there was something inside it. And that something was Jose's elegy known as Mi Ultimo Adios. And lastly, the youngest child was Soledad, also known as Cholen. She was married to Pantelion Quintero and became a, che a teacher. It is said that she was the best educated among Jose's sister and it makes Jose proud of her in becoming a teacher. That's all. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.